What are your thoughts about tools like CRISPR for DNA manipulation in the view of God's creation? The whole idea of ethics, you brought up CRISPR, CRISPR-Cas9, which can change parts of genomes, which could be tremendous. If a person has a genetic disorder, you go right in there and you solve that genetic disorder by you change the structure of the DNA. And you're like, I don't change DNA, you're messing with God. Well, every time you get a virus, a lot of viruses change our DNA. I mean, they just come in and they insert their portion of our DNA. So the, the DNA you have now is not the same as the DNA you were born with. And then you pass that new DNA onto your child. So I'm all for it being used in medicine and we just don't have good enough control, but it's not gonna be long. I mean, they are starting to do it. It's actually been used in humans already. And, and it's not gonna be long. We can address some of these things. And, and you think of a, a, as a parent, if you have a, a child with, with a genetic disorder and they say, okay, we can take care of that. You'd be like, I mean, this is gonna be great. What about the ethical part? Could we make, say, a superhuman race? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I don't think it should happen, but I think it's going to happen. And you can pass laws that it doesn't happen, but the laws are just for the United States. There's a lot of countries that they don't worry about that at all. You know, we've seen what happens with steroids. You put a person on steroids so that they are 10% faster, 10% stronger. I mean, they blow away everybody. What if you could do the same thing with, with intelligence? I mean, you make a person 20% smarter, 20% stronger. And just like anything else we have, a car can be used to bring a person to the hospital and an ambulance, a car can be used to commit a bank robbery.